The CL-1201 aircraft platform is a concept that emerged from a secret U.S. military program during the Cold War era, envisioned as a colossal, nuclear-powered flying aircraft carrier capable of unprecedented endurance and versatility. The aircraft platform was designed to remain airborne for extended periods, potentially weeks or months, without the need for landing by utilizing nuclear propulsion. A radical and ambitious idea, reflecting the era's technological optimism and strategic needs. The CL-1201 represents a fascinating convergence of advanced engineering, military strategy, and the bold aspirations of mid-20th century aerospace innovation. The significance of the CL-1201 lies in its potential to revolutionize military strategy by providing a persistent and mobile base of operations in the sky. This would have allowed the U.S. military to project power globally, providing quick deployment capabilities and a continuous aerial presence without the constraints of traditional land-based installations. Its ability to carry multiple aircraft and serve as an airborne command center meant it could have transformed command and control dynamics in warfare. One illustrative application was the concept of deploying fighter jets rapidly from an airborne platform, reducing response times to threats, and allowing for flexible military operations across various theaters. Another real-world application visualized with such a platform was aerial reconnaissance. The CL-1201 could have served as a high-altitude base for intelligence-gathering aircraft boosting surveillance capabilities over vast areas without the vulnerability of ground-based stations. Supporters of the CL-1201 concept argue that it epitomizes the spirit of technological innovation and strategic foresight. They laud the ambition and creativity involved in planning such a project. However, several challenges and controversies accompany the concept primarily centered around the safety and feasibility of nuclear-powered flight. Concerns about nuclear accidents, radioactive exposure, and the immense cost involved in developing such technology were significant obstacles. Additionally, advancements in satellite technology and the development of more practical aerial platforms have rendered such concepts less attractive over time. The idea of the CL-1201 influences broader discussions about innovation in military technology and the balance between ambitious projects and practicality. It highlights the ever-present tension between visionary designs and the practical constraints of technology and strategy. This concept connects to the wider topic by underscoring the military's constant pursuit of strategic advantage and technological superiority illustrating how visionary projects from the past continue to inspire current and future innovations. The heading, Historical Context and Development Timeline, refers to the chronological background and evolution of the CL-1201 aircraft platform within the secretive framework of U.S. military projects. Understanding this timeline is crucial to grasping the technological advancements and strategic imperatives that propelled the development of such a platform. The CL-1201 was an ambitious concept explored by Lockheed in the 1960s and 1970s as a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier designed to remain airborne for extended periods. This development was inspired by the era's technological optimism and the Cold War's pressing geopolitical tensions, driving innovation in military assets capable of offering a strategic edge. The significance of this point lies in unveiling how historical and technological factors converge to shape monumental military projects like the CL-1201. By examining the developmental stages and contextual influences, one gains insight into the era's aerospace ambitions. These efforts highlighted both the innovative spirit and the underlying fears of nuclear conflict that typified the period. The aircraft's concept, despite its non-realization, underscores the experimental nature of military aviation during the Cold War, illustrating the push for game-changing weapons systems. A real-world application of this concept 
can be seen in the United States' continued development of strategic bombers, which evolved from such experimental designs. The B-2 Spirit and B-52 Strato Fortress, for instance, embody the spirit of endurance and strategic deterrence initially envisioned for the CL-1201. Another example is the emphasis on nuclear propulsion technology, influencing subsequent research in areas such as nuclear-powered submarines, which remain integral to naval strategy. Opinions on the historical context of this program are divided. Proponents argue that such ambitious projects spurred technological innovation, advancing aerospace knowledge and capabilities. Detractors, however, criticize the immense costs and the potential dangers of nuclear-powered aircraft, highlighting environmental and safety concerns that could have arisen from deployment. Challenges associated with the CL-12 Vo-1 concept included the technical difficulties of implementing nuclear propulsion in an aircraft and the potential for catastrophic failure. Some critics point out the ethical considerations surrounding nuclear technology use in military applications. This historical context connects to broader aspects of military innovation and strategic planning, influencing subsequent developments in aviation technology and defense policy. It demonstrates the cyclical nature of military strategy, where past experimental concepts inform present and future innovation, ensuring technological superiority and strategic advantage. Understanding this timeline is essential for appreciating the intricate web of technological, strategic, and ethical considerations that continue to shape modern military aviation. The technical specifications and design innovations of the CL-1201 aircraft platform delve into the intricate details and pioneering advancements that characterize this ambitious U.S. military program. At its core, this heading focuses on the unique features and technological breakthroughs that defined the CL-1201, a conceptual behemoth from the 1960s, envisioned as a nuclear-powered flying aircraft carrier capable of sustaining extended flight durations without refueling. The significance of this point is profound, as it underscores the visionary ambition and technological daring that encapsulated the Cold War era's push for aerial superiority and strategic dominance. The CL-1201 was not just about building a large aircraft. It was about redefining the possible, integrating nuclear propulsion with massive scale to create an airborne fortress capable of exerting global influence. Two specific examples of the technical specifications and design innovations can be found in its envisioned power source and its unique capability as an airborne base. First, the nuclear propulsion system was intended to allow the CL-1201 to remain airborne for indefinite periods, a radical departure from conventional aviation reliance on fossil fuels. Second, it's designed to carry numerous fighter aircraft aboard, essentially turning it into a mobile base, demonstrates an innovation that challenged existing norms of aircraft carrier operations by freeing them from the confines of the seas. Opinions supporting this ambitious concept often highlight the ingenuity and forward thinking required to even conceptualize such an aircraft. Proponents argue that projects like the CL-12 of 01 pushed the boundaries of engineering and inspired future innovations in aerospace design and strategy. However, potential challenges and controversies arose from the program's immense scale and technological complexity, including engineering feasibility, safety concerns regarding nuclear propulsion, and the staggering costs associated with such a project. Detractors pointed to these hurdles as insurmountable drawbacks, questioning the practicality and ecological implications of a nuclear-powered aircraft. The technical specifications and design innovations of the CL-1201 also intersect with other aspects of the main topic, such as geopolitical strategy, technological arms races, and the evolution of military aviation. By influencing these broader themes, the innovations inherent in the CEL-1201 reflect both the ambition of its time 
and the enduring quest for pioneering advancements in military technology. This nexus of innovation and ambition serves as a telling reflection of the era's broader military and technological ethos, where pushing limits often define strategic imperatives. The strategic military objectives and uses of the CL-2501 aircraft platform refer to the specific goals and applications for which this unconventional, potentially transformative military aircraft was developed. Built under a clandestine U.S. military program, the CL-1201 represents a unique effort to create a massive airborne platform capable of performing multiple roles, from strategic deterrence to advanced reconnaissance. The significance of this point lies in its reflection of Cold War-era ambitions and the pursuit of technological superiority, emphasizing the era's relentless drive for innovation in military strategy and capabilities. The importance of strategic military objectives for the CL-1201 cannot be overstated. As a proposed behemoth of aviation, with designs suggesting a wingspan of over 1,000 feet, its potential uses included functioning as a mobile command center, an aerial refueling station, and even carrying nuclear or conventional payloads for long durations and distances without landing. Such capabilities would have provided the U.S. military with unmatched strategic reach and versatility, acting as a deterrent to adversaries and a tool of immense strategic leverage. A real-world application of this concept would be akin to the development of the B-52 Stratofortress, which has served as a versatile long-range bomber for the U.S. Air Force since the 1950s. Another example is the use of aircraft carriers as mobile bases, which allow the projection of power across the globe. These examples highlight the enduring value of platforms that enhance strategic flexibility and reach, albeit on a different scale. Supporters of such large-scale projects often argue that they provide critical advantages in terms of strategic deterrence and power projection. However, potential challenges and controversies include the enormous costs and technical hurdles associated with building and operating such a platform, alongside debates about its practicality and effectiveness against evolving threats, such as advanced missile systems and cyber warfare. The concept of strategic military objectives and uses directly influences other aspects of the CL-1201 program including technological development, cost assessments, and geopolitical strategy. By setting ambitious goals, the program pushes technological boundaries, influences, defense spending priorities, and reshapes strategic doctrines. However, it also demands critical evaluations of risk versus reward, particularly in an era where military strategy continuously evolves to adapt to new threats and technological advancements. As such, the strategic objectives of the CL-1201 not only define its potential uses, but also influence broader discussions about military innovation and strategic planning.